Hello. Hello, Aries. How are you doing? Aries. Add some blue. Although this is still pink. <laughs> I think we got some blue in there. Anyway, Aries, how are you doing today? You ready for the week ahead, Aries? Midway point of the month. Almost midway point of the year. How is this year going for you so far, Aries? How is this month going for you so far? I hope it's going well. Aries, let's get a message for you. A three of cups for Aries. Shall I take these two cards, Aries, since they fell out? Let's go and clarify, Aries. You know, this energy, first of all, is almost like not, or the message is that you shouldn't allow external things to get you down or to change your personality. I do want to clarify this a little bit more because this does kind of damper the Three of Cups. The Ace of Swords, however, brings it way up. Like I would say the Ace of Swords acts as a quite an equal energy to combat any self-doubt and waiting for something to come through. It actually brings this Three of Cups to good energy, but I am curious about these two because they just are so, well, they speak of delays. You are getting something that you can celebrate about, something that will allow you to make a real difference. So then, why do I have right now you being frozen and rooted? And almost despondent in this energy. Let's go and see how they're aspected and see if they... Let's see how they're aspected. Maybe this Eight of Swords is faith in oneself. You can't have an Ace of Swords just floating by itself. There's a little bit, bit of a process that comes to an Ace of Swords. Ace of Swords doesn't just hit you. See, Eight of Swords. speaks of delay. Delay. You know, it's funny because the Eight of Swords is part of the perception, right? But Aries in this energy, Ace, oh, excuse me, um, Eight of uh, Swords clarified by Empress, Wheel of Fortune, and if I can get that other card up. Knight, excuse me, King of Wands. This is literally delays that are out of your control. You are perfectly situated if you had the opportunity to move forward, to take action, to act. But in this energy here, Yeah, this is delays that is not in your head. <laughs> this is an actual 
quiet cat, quiet. I think I'm going to bring her up on the table because she's been screaming the whole time. No, 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 no. Give me this card. Go on the side. Sit. Okay. Where were we, Harry? <laughs> um, yeah, outside of this, this is not your own perception or what's in your head. You actually have been blocked is validated. You've been stymied. Nine of Wands. It's waiting for the opportunity to come sit. I don't like you looking like you're going to jump. Sit. Go on, sit down. Aren't her feet cute, Aries? Look how tiny they are. She has the smallest feet in the household. Anyway, you can enjoy her feet while I pull on these cards. Ace of Swords. Okay, Ari, so first off, I do see lots of delays. Like the delays that are on here just are not in your head. You literally have not been getting any opportunity to move forward in a constructive manner. Maybe you've gotten opportunities to move forward in small manners, but not really anything according to your capacity of what you're able to do. And in time, this is just like a statement, like an acknowledgement that yes, you've been tied up by external forces into inaction areas. Nine of Wands here. It's also so the same sort of energy waiting for the opportunity to come. However, in this message, Aries, together with our main message of Three of Cups, almost at an end. A really big opportunity is coming for you. Your wait is almost at an end. I say almost because this is still a nine of wands energy, Aries. This isn't that ten of wands energy. And even if I was to look, well, we do have the wheel of fortune here. You know, you're coming on to the end of a cycle. You're not quite in that finality of the end end, but you are approaching it. You are one step let's say on the staircase to getting to the next floor of your next stage. You're still on that staircase. You're not quite at the last step, but you're almost there. Almost. This is really, really almost. And you know that last step here too, Aries, I'm going to say in this energy, is not going to take very long to go through. It's like you have a little bit more time to wait. Ace of Swords here. You know, I'm really seeing the Six of Cups as what you've been waiting for in Eight of Swords energy, what you've been waiting for in that Nine of Wands energy, what you've been waiting for in terms of making real progress and real headway. And also in this energy... having, you know, the opportunities that allow you not only to go and flex your true skills, Aries, but also make you grow.
anyway. This is coming, Aries. Ace of Swords with Six of Cups. Six of Cups is just simply an acknowledgement of that past situation that you've had. Or not, excuse me, not past situation that you've had. The past situation, the, the past thoughts you've had about what kind of opportunities do you want and how do you want to work them. That's what I mean by Six of Cups. Excuse me, I was a little distracted with um, this little, uh, that little one. She's waiting to jump on me so she can go and do a combination of screaming and singing. She likes to be chased. <laughs> Especially when I'm talking. Anyway, so that's what the Six of Cups is. Really just your own plans about what kind of opportunities you want and how you want to realize them, what you want to do. That's coming. Aries, you don't really have that much longer to wait. All of these energies here tells me, no honey, don't go anywhere. Tells me like you don't have much longer to wait especially under Three of Cups. A little bit longer. You have a little bit more delays, but not much longer. This feels like work more than anything. You're going to go and get a work opportunity. That's what I see for you, Aries, and it's upcoming soon. Until the next reading, Aries, I and my little pussy cat <laughs> wish you well, don't we? Yes, we do. Anyway, I'm going, while I have her up here, I'm going to go and jump onto the next reading. Bye-bye, <laughs> Aries. Until next time, have a great day. Wishing you all the very best. Bye-bye.